today I want to continue to share my Christmas Advent bags. As I said, very easy. I've already showed you one to five. So um, I'm going to continue now and show you um, six to eleven. So I'm just going to move those out the way. As I say, this is a very easy project. And again, um, it's something that I do, you know, watching TV um, with a family. And the first one, as I said, I have actually done one already on camera. This is number six. I've gone for sort of a red and black theme here. I've used one of the cardboard frames that I got really reasonable from um, Wilco's. Um, this little deer I actually cut out with my Sizzix. Um, I say I've explained about the numbers from Amazon, so I'm not going to repeat myself about the numbers. Um, I use a lot of this black ribbon tape that I got off online and washi tape and I just this was just an odd piece of um, paper that looks a bit like a wood effect and then um, using um, silver embellishments I've just used Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I had a couple of little transfers um, just bring a little bit of black in so in fact it might not be everybody's size but I quite like that scheme but then again especially around Christmas that is partly my colour scheme anyway so that's number six number seven I've gone for a snowman theme um, I believe this paper came from Poundland some of these papers obviously I've had a little while but I'm sure it was Poundland um, washi tape I'm not 100% sure where I got that from um, I got a snowman um, die cut so I've been cutting those out and I'll do some more I've just put some red embellishments these very very tiny little um, snowmen are from one of those little tiny mini punches that I've got from Hobbycraft and I've just put Frosty from one of those Hessian embellishments so that's the snowman one number seven number eight I was quite surprised about this I just went a bit out of my comfort zone um, because this is obviously more pinky girly um, I believe it works just something I say slightly different um, again pound on paper I just had this slightly off cut which fit really well I did point out these embellishments that I got from Hobbycraft which is all these sort of things um, I put some little green gems on and then it's got again Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I just finished off with some washi tape there so with the winter flamingo I just thought it just changed it up a little bit so that's more like a pink Christmas that one right number nine again um, Poundland paper I've backed it up with a bit of red card and this piece was actually off an old Christmas card um, the wooden embellishments the bows that I've used quite a bit washi sorry about that the washi tape and again another one of those hessian embellishments and I've put believe on that one so that is number nine number 10 this actually is my favorite color purple so this is using just lots of oddments I had so I've got um, three different papers this paper here I've 
managed to find embellishments out of that pack I got from Amazon to match actually the paper and this was off a card that's one of those little um like um spongy um embellishments the reindeer and um these came from i think they were from pan world to bring a little bit more silver in i've got some gems here at the top and the bottom and on this occasion I just used a silver ten and not the normal red ones because red wouldn't have gone with this one, I must admit. And I, I think, I don't know what I said, I just finished it off with some washi tape. So that is number ten. And this is number eleven. Robin theme on this one. Robin, it's funny how I got all my bits and pieces, scrap pieces of paper, and my embellishments out. And when I laid them out, a lot of these just seemed to click. So I've gone for a Robin theme, Robin paper. I had this little bit that I cut off a card that I hadn't used. Um, put some green gems on another one of those spongy little um, embellishments. Um, bringing out some green, I've used some green um, spotty. Um, washi tape and finished it with one of my little bows so that is number 11 so um, I am progressing on with these Avent bags I do have quite a few um, projects on the go um, including Christmas and as I said this is a very easy craft that anybody can do um, making the bags up and um, I hope again you've enjoyed this um, please comment thumbs up and subscribe thank you